Why can't I do this? Hey guys, welcome back to Krista NC Burrell. I'm Krista and I make vegan recipe and lifestyle videos along with DIYs here and there. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing and liking this video. So now that 2018 is out of the way and we're into 2019, I figured it'd be a good idea to go over my 2018 intentions that I made for myself on January 2nd. I wanted to do this before I started going into my 2019 intentions because you know, it's a new year, new me. That's what everybody's doing, right? Um, I learned this from Lavender. I start my year with a theme and that's something I will concentrate on for the whole year. And my theme last year is done is better than perfect. So um, yeah, and then this year is discipline and then we'll go into that more my next video. So I had seven intentions and we are going to go over those now. Also, stick to the end of this video because I have a little giveaway for you guys. So if you guys want to know what that is, keep watching. Number one, continue to work on yourself and self-improvement. Be authentically you. Be true to yourself even when others disagree. Find ways to communicate when people are uneasy and learn to diffuse negative energies. Overall, um, me working on myself for self-improvement, I did a pretty go good job. In 2018, I created my own business that actually potentially failed, um, not because I didn't work on it, it's because I wasn't feeling so much passion for it as much. It did ignite um, this creative part of me, which is what actually helped a lot. Um, I still am working on that business, just not as actively as I was before. So I created a business called Gloss Yourself and I took a leap of faith and I joined Senegens, um because I wanted to see what it was like to, you know, be your own boss and figure out that kind of like concept. Um, I also started working on myself in a way where I wanted to be more productive. I wanted more time to do things that I loved. So for me, that ended up having a morning routine or starting to wake up early. I also started getting really into laws of attraction, which led me to listening to affirmations every morning. Um, I started reading a lot, um, whether those were self-help books, just fun books, um, all that kind of stuff. And I also started journaling. Um, I have a very scattered brain and so being able to journal for me has helped a lot because I was able to write it down instead of trying to keep it in my brain and like trying to put them in little nooks in my brain without try without forgetting it and being able to write it down was nice because then I wrote it down and it was out of sight and then but the one thing about that we'll talk about is organization when it came to that kind of stuff. When it came to diffusing negative energy i am still very much working on this um with other people i'm better at it but when it comes to ryan like i am a total bitch i am sorry but for some reason i am just a complete bitch to him because that's maybe that's just because how we grew up but i really am working on how i talk to him and things like that but I know you guys were like waiting for me to release my birthday video and that was actually my intention to do but it ended up being so horrible for me that day that um i decided i don't want to i don't want to look at that right now and until i could figure out a way to turn that into a positive note because i'm still bitter about it but my birthday we went camping and things like that and that's actually something i really wanted to do i've been wanting to do that forever and we finally did it so thank you julie thank you gabe thank you rose and thank you ken for coming camping in the winter and sticking through the cold and everything with me Intention number two, continue to grow and build your brand. Be authentic, let people in, let people get to know you, and build relationships. They say to get ahead in life, it's the people and connections you make that can help you grow. Actually, I think I did a pretty good job with this because within... When we're talking, if we're talking about my brand and like social media and how I've been able to gain more traction with um, my channel and all that other stuff, 
was because I implemented this 180 rule that allowed me to reach more people. My statistics increased by 150%, so that was really exciting for me to see from just September to December. Initially, because I started Senegens in October 2017, so once the new year came around, I was all about, I want to make this business work. So I was trying to figure out my brand, so I created um, Gloss Yourself, which was um, me as an independent distributor with Glossiers, with Sen Senegens, and me trying to figure out, you know, that whole kind of concept. And it's kind of cool because it's, you get a little bit, you get a little taste of what it is like to be, um, your own boss and kind of just using your means to make an income through other ways of just your nine to five. Um, I reopened and revamped my blog um, and I'm actually really proud of it. I used Squarespace, so initially I used Wix a long time ago, not a long time ago, a couple years ago, and then I ended up using Squarespace to revamp it because I just liked how you can use different templates and things like that. And I think that my new blog and website speaks a lot more to me, which is very nice because people can see that part of me now. Like, it's those are my photos, those are my words, um, I was the one who created that every single piece of it so that was me setting up that part of my brand. I also started reaching out to other brands and asking them if they would like to collab or um, do projects to, together and things like that and that was honestly very scary because these people are a lot more established than I was um, and I Honestly, I did not think anybody would reply. I thought I would get all no's, but I didn't. So although I didn't have any collaborations in 2018, I set up collaborations and built those relationships for 2019, which is nice because I have those relationships and I have those projects that I can use and share with you guys. Um, in the future and that's something I want to continue doing because in order for you to grow in this type of world or in this um, and also for you to meet other people who have who are like-minded like you you need to step out of your comfort zone outside of your little niche of friends that you normally hang out with and meet other people it's just like going to a new school going to college moving to a new town it's stepping outside of your comfort zone and meeting new people I'm honest I didn't do that until probably the mid-year but it's okay at least I did it done is better than perfect remember that was my theme for the whole year I also started to um, improve my relationships with the people around me not just the people that I um, do projects with people who are like-minded with me that I found on the internet but also with my friends and family and especially other people um, been very hard for me to actually keep relationships with people. I'll keep relationships for a little bit with people and they'll, they'll usually die down. But this year, um, I was trying to be more aware and mindful of those relationships I have and tried to really nurture them more. Um, I've always been that type of person who's like, if you want to talk to me, you will come to me and you will talk to me. And that honestly is not a good mindset. Like, I needed to get out of that and I'm glad I did. Continue to explore a vegan and ethical lifestyle. When you're able to empathize and practice to true compassion for all things, living or not, you will be one step closer to who you are meant to be. Truly explore the um, vegan ethical lifestyle more. Um, you guys know that uh, in 2017, I went completely strict vegan police and I was very I could I was a little bit hard to be around sometimes but in 2018 it was being more compassionate being more um, aware and really kind of just testing myself to see how I was how I was feeling um, this type of ethical lifestyle I continue to, to explore vegan food more um, instead of just sticking to like my 
same kind of stuff like I literally just threw crap together and hoped it would it, it like I literally threw crap together hoping it would taste good 90% of the time it did but like they were pretty simple things so yeah and then I also like I found um a vegan cheese that I ended up liking because of Precious who um, introduced that to me it was called Miyoko's and I ended up using that in my pizza recipe I ended up playing around with different egg replacements so I found a really good one that I loved which is the flax egg so I used that for baking and then I also played around with aquafaba when I made a um, apple pie which is actually Ashley's video or Ashley's recipe from um, Alaska Bake so if you guys are into some really delicious pies hit Ashley up because she makes some pretty good ones um, but that they're not vegan i don't know if she knows how to veganize them but like i tried that i did that and um i figured out you could literally make cool whip whipped cream um all this kind of stuff with it and it was like damn like i didn't know beans could taste like that and then in ethical terms also um 2018 tested me because it's like when it came to clothing that I had, when I started transitioning to an ethical lifestyle, I was like, I can't use that stuff anymore. And, you know, for some people who transition, yeah, they, they won't use it because they don't want to promote it. But in my head, I'm thinking, um, these are things that I had before, and if I just threw it away or even gave it away, the other people wouldn't appreciate it the same way as I would because now that I know that it's from someone um, I care for it better or and I appreciate I appreciate where those materials came from um, so that's why I still use my bags my jackets my shoes and things like that because it came from someone and I don't want that to be wasted or given to someone that's not going to appreciate it the way I know I'm going to appreciate it. Um, if that makes any sense, maybe that doesn't make any sense, but it does to me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but we had some mice in our house. We still do, and we're still trying to figure out how to get them out of our house. <laughs> and it's been kind of difficult because they're hanging out in our ceilings, and you can hear them, like, nibbling on something. And I'm like, please don't break my house, and please don't infest it, which I don't know, you guys. We might be infested. Overall with um exploring the v a vegan and ethical lifestyle i think i did pretty good but i think i also let myself go um in some terms but i i feel like you need to explore sometimes after you do something to figure out you know where you really stand that same thing when it comes to relationships and all that stuff like you need to take a step back and figure out where you are in it number four Continue to learn, teach, and educate others with your passion. You are never finished learning. Everything changes over time, and there is always room for improvement. I think I did a really good job with this. Like, this one, I want to give myself a 10 out of... No, 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 no. I'm going to give myself an 8, at, an 8 out of 10, because, honestly, I could have did better. Honestly, for the most part, I did a pretty good job. I read six books this year, whether that was physically or on audiobooks. I um, learned how to edit faster and more efficiently. I started sharing, you know, how to do things yourself because I'm a very big person on trying to figure out how to do things yourself. So you guys see me doing like my fireplace, renovations in my house, so everything that I learned, whether that was like things with um, skin, food, um, learn DIY, reading, all this stuff, or even laws of attraction and organization. Um, whatever I learned, I wanted to make sure that you guys um were aware of it too because maybe it's something that you guys needed to hear needed to learn or you know weren't aware of so i felt like um i did a better job of sharing my knowledge and sharing um what i see i can do a better job of explaining things because um I have very scatterbrained and like I'll just say something and I'll move on to the next one so I want to be better at kind of staying focused and like being more 
adding more informational value instead of just kind of giving little bits and pieces. Number five. Practice being consistent and organized. Maintaining a consistent and organized life may help with relieving stress. Well, I feel like I did a better job at being consistent and organized this year just because I started trying to figure out a functional planning system, um, something that helped me achieve my goals, something that helped me achieve my daily tasks, um, things that you know, that I wanted to keep track of and I wanted to organize um, and all that stuff. I became consistent where I consistently uploaded a video every single Saturday with an exception of probably like three times throughout the year and I think that's a pretty good job. I also started becoming more consistent of waking up early. Um, not, not necessarily at 5 or 5 30 but I was waking up earlier than I normally would I gave myself anywhere between 30 minutes to 10 minutes to get ready and just get out the door and go to work and that got me flustered all the time having that morning routine and setting those tasks and things like that that I need to do in the morning has helped me be consistent in other things in my life whether that was wanting to learn um, wanting to make more time to do my blog and edit um, answer emails do like admin stuff um, have some self-care for myself and work out those are things that I fit into the morning because they say you're most productive in the morning and um, I guess you have like this little threshold of how many things your brain can take like tasks you can take so if you do all that stuff in the morning um, you won't be as burnt out because by the end of the day you become more um, what is it impulsive with your decisions so that's why they say to do all your important stuff in the morning and then everything else just follows so you don't get you're not as impulsive I also if you guys don't notice my hair is a lot nicer and more healthy now um, I started doing the curly girl method and I developed my own hair routine that has helped me, you know, maintain some structure in this madness I got going on. Um, my hair used to be dry, it used to be very frizzy and yeah, a lot of problems with it. Number six was be present. When you're working, work. When you're with family and friends, be with them. Give them your undivided attention. Time is money, but time can never be taken back. Learn to cherish what you have while you have it. I could have done a hell of a lot better with this. And I think it's just because I was working on trying to improve myself in all these other areas of my life that, like always, I put being present out the door or to the side because I'm just like my future I'm gonna get my future in line I want to do this I want to make sure I have this done I want to make sure I have this in line and like we're always thinking about our future and how we can secure, secure a better future being present becomes something that we push to the side because we're constantly trying to work on ourselves for the future so we're always thinking about the future i was a little bit good at it but at the same time i wasn't because i i was able to capture memories of things like our reunion um thanksgiving going to the library things like that i have like i was able to capture those memories but at the same time, I wasn't completely present because in my head, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I need to get this shot. This would be a good shot for this. So it's like I'm trying to like formulate things in my head to create a better visual experience for you guys. I was on my phone and computer a lot just because, you know, I do a lot of stuff online and I do a lot of stuff on my computer and my phone. So everything's like on social media. Um, so I was on my computer and phone a lot more just because I was trying to implement all these things and try and be more consistent and stuff like that and when we would just be sitting around and watching TV or something like that I was like well we're just watching TV we're not doing anything I'm gonna just work on um, some of my stuff so I can just knock it out of the way but I soon realized you're there physically so you should give them your undivided attention whether you're not doing anything or not um, if you're not doing anything you could figure out something to do 
conversate, you know? Um, so I started time blocking and they say, I don't know, I don't remember if this is from Matt Devella, Miss Trenchcoat, or Lavender, but they say if you need to time block and schedule those things in because if you don't schedule those things in, they're not going to happen. They're just tasks or goals or ambitions that you aren't actually going to take action on. So I would time block anything from 5 until 6 when Ryan gets off so I can do... I will be working and just working on stuff from five to six. So when six hits, I am not supposed to be doing anything. I didn't implement that really until um, probably the last quarter and I was still kind of struggling with it because I was just like, well, I'm not doing anything, so. Number seven, create a solid foundation. Growing up, I didn't have a solid foundation. Um, I did have family and friends and things like that. I had a great family, um, but I didn't have a solid foundation just because of how I grew up. I can go into that another time, but I have always, um, the way me and my siblings, my, the way my siblings and myself grew up was, it was basically dog eat dog world. We raised each other, um, for the most part. Sorry, mom, but it's true like for the most part we raised each other and my mom was the one who supported us um, to be able to do the things that we wanted to do and it's not easy being a single mother because I feel like that's what happens <sighs> perfect somebody like came and delivered a package I think this is Julie's present to be honest um, so that kind of diffused the emotions which was nice um, but yeah, so I've never really had a solid foundation. Even like when it came to friends, I didn't really have a solid foundation. I was, I'm a, I, I'm a hopper. I hop everywhere. So I hop from like friends, groups, things like that. I'm a hopper. That's just how I am. That's how I grew up. And I think that's kind of affected me because I don't have a solid foundation. Um, so I'm always kind of all over the place. So because of that um, and, and being all over the place, I wanted a solid foundation for my life in general. And I think maybe that's why I wanted to set these intentions to help me figure out a way to create some consistency in my life. And honestly, um, I'm still working on this, but there have been some people and things that have helped me create a solid foundation. Um, even though up with my family and things like that wasn't the best, they are part of my foundation because without them, I wouldn't have learned to do the things I ha have done now. I wouldn't be where I am now. And then also, to be honest, Ryan. Um, Ryan has been like amazing because <clears throat> Ryan has been amazing because he literally puts me in my place. He calls me in on my shit and he'll tell me when I'm being a bitch or when I need to work on myself. And sometimes I don't realize it until he says something, which is great because not very many people will tell me that. And he is one person that will really just, he is very blunt and he'll tell me about it. And, you know, I do the same with him. So, healthy relationship, don't worry. And then, um... I think also just creating some routines has helped me create more of a solid foundation. Um, I'm still working on this obviously just because I'm not, I want to be more consistent. So yeah, um, yeah, that got a little bit deep for a second. So now that we are done talking about what my 2018 intentions are were, um, I want to get on to the giveaway and I want to just say thank you for sticking through the end and making it here because you guys are A1 for doing that. I know sometimes it's not easy to listen to someone talk all the time, but I wanted to do this giveaway because of you guys. I wanted to completely and utterly thank you guys for helping and building and joining my community because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have grown into the person I am becoming without you to keep me accountable um, and then you to help build relationships with me because you guys obviously heard I'm trying to work on that and yeah. I just want to thank you guys. 
Um, so for this giveaway, I will be giving away one of Lavender's Artist of Life workbooks. So I don't know if you, you guys probably know that I talk about Eileen's channel all the time, Lavender. Um, but her channel is amazing, so go check it out. Her workbooks and things like that have really helped guide me to accomplish the things that I wanted to do. And I want to be able to give you guys the same resource because seriously, this workbook, it, it hits everything. It hits um, gratitude, self-care, your goals, all these things that I think is very important for you to grow in 2019 and every year after that so yeah um one of you lucky people will be getting one of the artists of life workbooks so now that we know what the giveaway is all you have to do to enter this giveaway is of course subscribe and follow my instagram and youtube channel and then leave a comment down below what your 2019 intentions goals ambitions or dreams are um, because I genuinely want to know like I love hearing what you guys have to say and how you guys want to improve yourself but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for you guys in some way because I want to be able to provide you guys with more value this year so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one next Saturday see ya Look at here guys, we're beautiful. Look at all this, all these waves and body.